What's happening, gang? Happy Monday to everybody. Um, today, on this video, I will show you how to correct an inner oral scan bite um, where the bite is wrong and you don't have a bite scan per se. This can happen with trios, medit, um, anybody who forgets to take a bite scan, but most importantly, um, iTero. They don't give you a bite scan. So I'm going to show you how to, uh, or what my workflow is uh, in 2020 to make it uh, easier. Um, just this requires the original order and then a utility order just to get the uh, bite scan done and then we continue. So you can see right here, I have the case. I'll do a 3D preview so you can see. This is the bite. I got it. That's not the right bite because you can see where it sets here and here and everything's just blasted open. So I went ahead and ran through, did a design, kept it ideal, doesn't matter. Uh, margins uh, accurate because we're gonna print the model so we want the final margin. So I spent time doing the margin and the if, if there was any sort of tissue um, needing to be removed in the model builder, uh, we would take care of that as well. But this one is uh, super gingival, nothing's showing. Um, and here's my model builder in place. Uh, I used a you know, uh, Orbix mount that I made. You can use Vertex. You need just something to be able to mount the bite. I tear up, uh, Itera articulators or three shape interfaces will not work because you're going to alter the bite from where it is set. Um, and I don't recommend doing uh, optimized bite or manually setting them um, because you will be off. So I got all this set and done and now I'm ready to do the correction. So how I do this after I take the models, print them, I will go ahead, hand mount them and put it together with sticky wax. Uh, I have a Itero bite order that I created. Uh, you can do this with a, a general order called utilities. As you can see right here, I have that here and I only go to the bite step right here, scan the bite. And while I'm in here, I will go ahead and click this save scan right here. So I'll put down new new bite or what you can do is uh, if you know ahead of time um, you can use your let's see here you can use your sticky notes that I've, I've made and I know that for the name of the file is called raw bite scan so I'm just gonna go ahead copy it from my sticky notes paste it into here and save it to the desktop as raw bite scan which is already there and I'm basically gonna exit out of this I don't need this order anymore it did the part I'm done so now let me go back to the original folder and um, show you how to correct it so now we've gone through the ITER order uh, everything's designed um, I'm going to Control M to modify the order. Right click modify. As soon as this opens up, we're gonna change one thing on here and that's gonna be the uh, antagonist. So I tear orders come in as antagonist and since I'm doing model, I've changed it from model to digital impression in the on my first part and I already have my model in there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna click antagonist and go antagonist with occlusal alignment, all in the same order. I'm not gonna create a new order as um, I have been saying in the past and how a lot of people have done in the past. I'm just gonna go ahead and modify the original ITER order and add antagonist with occlusal alignment. We're gonna click okay. Um, it's probably gonna say well, it's probably just going to reset it to uh, created status as it would uh, when you import the case and set it up. So once this is set up, I'm going to go ahead and press F4 to enter the case. Now I'm going to go to scans and we see we have upper and lower, but there's no place for uh, the bite scan. And with um, 
desktop scans in that folder we'll see auxiliary scan folder but on digital impressions they're not it's actually called miscellaneous so we're going to create a new folder in the order and we're going to call it MISC with a capital M M I S C we're going to open that up and then what we're going to do is from our desktop we're going to grab that raw byte scan we'll copy it we'll paste it into the new folder we created called MISC with a capital M miscellaneous and now you see we have the proper order forms now I'm going to close this I'm going to right click design and it'll it's going to ask me do I want to keep the original design I'm going to say yes because I don't want to redesign it it's a single unit posterior not a big thing but if you do this with a, a anterior four unit five unit whatever it's probably a good thing to just click yes um, and now I'm going to let this do its thing and what we should see is the byte alignment added into the original preparation workflow um, above uh, refined upper and lower scans. Um, now in the past doing this I've never had good luck especially if I created a new order and I didn't do it right and I modified it it wouldn't stick so I decided to try it in 2020.1 and lo and behold it worked so if it doesn't work um, then just go ahead create a new order and we will process it so we come here we see that I do have the original iTero byte but now what do I see align to byte so I'm going to go ahead and click align to byte and I'm going to get this we're going to drop the pre-op out and I'll do one point there one point there let's go ahead and preview and it'll align the upper then I'm going to align the lower and then unfortunately I unfortunately but I will have to realign the pre-op to the model after I'm set and done so we'll go next and we'll come here and we'll do the same thing with the lower we'll align it yeah you can't add anything there so we'll go next And now I'm going to have a corrected byte after I pass all these refines, refined stages. Um, Itero scans don't like to do that for whatever reason, I don't know. But now you can see I have a corrected byte. We'll check our occlusal alignment here, and that's off. We'll set it from the view. Because obviously if I left that a uh, most likely I will have problems down the road go next we're not going to trim any of the upper or the lower I'm not going to sculpt basically going to go right through here and we're going to see the margin line is still there actually margin line is off so we'll go back we'll clear this and we'll click margin line here everything's there we have to reset it because obviously we uh, were off on coordinates we changed it all so this should hopefully be the right cutout insertion Now, before I do that, let me go ahead and align my uh, preparation scan to my model. We'll click align right here. 
and then we can continue designing and now it should hopefully the crown probably won't be in the right position because of uh, what we did but at least you're still you don't have a new order hogging up your uh, database and you can start fresh you can also delete the design tree um, and that'll probably reset all coordinates uh, as needed um, or if this works just go with the way I just did it right here and reset the margin and did it so I don't have to worry about the cut line because we did all of that in the previous stage and now we can see we got this so let's undo all and or let's see if we can reuse old design and just move it reuse okay it's unfortunate but hey, at least I got my design where I needed it and if I was to kind of set this up to how I had it before, probably wasn't that far off. Yeah, give and take. But now I have the new bite, new alignment. Um, like I said, if it's a bigger case, maybe just concentrate on the tissue side so you don't care about losing your whole design. But um, now that you you know, and then we come back in and you don't have to go through all this. But you have the idea of how to reset the bite now. And I can actually design this case. And I have this bite on my hand articulated case that I already printed these models out previously. So everything's set and done um, kind of uh, works out easy this way. So this will work for a Trios. If the doctor forgets to send you the uh, bite, this will work with Itero, Medit, um, Plan Mecca, any any scans you get STL that aren't in the right bite registration or have a super hard bite um, or really messed up you can do it sometimes um, if it's a hard bite where they're overlapping like right here in these two areas uh, a quick occlusal alignment will fix it um, but again if you get it where your bites not aligned um, and now you can see where facets meet up everything's good so uh, I'm happy to go ahead and process this case um, unfortunately, it's unfortunate it happens, um, but Itero doesn't want to give us the bite scan, so we have to make our own. So with that said and done, um, I hope this solves a lot of you guys' problems, and uh, have a good day and week, and keep designing. Adios.